Hello viewer, welcome to another exciting edition of Women Crush Wednesday on Flip TV. My name is Yomi, your host for today. On this program, we're talking about influential women, their achievements and contribution to the society at large. For today, I'll be talking about Olaju Moke Adeno. Olaju Moke Olufumi Lola Adenowo, born on the 16th October 1968, is a Nigerian architect. She started her own architecture and interior design firm, AB Consulting, in 1994. Adenowo's parents were both professor, one of history and one of criminology. She lived on campus at the Obafemi Awolowo University. It was designed by Bao Arts trained architect area Sharon between 1962 and 1972. Living in and then eventually studying at the university encouraged her approach to architecture at a young age. At 14, she enrolled in Obafemi Awuluwa University and graduated with a Bachelor of Science with honors in architecture at age 19. As an undergraduate, she won the prize for best student design. She obtained the Masters of Science in Architecture with distinction from the same university in 1991. She is also an alumnus of Harvard Kennedy School, Yale School of Management, Lagos Business School Chief Executive Program, and the IESE Business School at the University of Navarra in Barcelona, Spain. Adenowo has started that her in, has stated that her interest in architecture was ignited by visit to Paris and the Palace de Versailles as a young child, as well as living on the Obafemi Awolowo University campus. This inspired a design philosophy, the core lesson being that, in its functionality, architecture must be sensitive to its climatic, technological, infrastructural, and physical context. After graduating from university, Adenowo was hired as an assistant architect at Tauri Coca Associates. She then practiced as an architect in Lagos at Femi Majakodumi Associates. She worked on the Federal Ministry of Finance project in Abuja at the age of 23. Adenawa founded her own boutique architecture and interior design firm in 1994, AD Consulting, when she was 25 years old. Since its inception, AD Consulting had been involved in the design and construction of more than 70 projects. These include Nigerian government buildings, private residences, healthcare facilities, industrial campuses, and corporate and financial institutions. Ada's clients include Coca-Cola and L'Oreal. CNN describes her as an African star architect and The Guardian has described her as the face of architecture in Nigeria. In 2018, she was recognized by the Royal Institute of British Architects as one of the inspirational women in architecture today. Adenowo has been featured in Architectural Record. Adenowo's portfolio includes a host of multinational and Nigerian clients including Coca-Cola, L'Oreal, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Access Bank PLT, and Guaranteed Trust Bank. In 2018, Olaju Mokea Denowo was appointed a visiting professor at the Technische Universität München in Germany. She was honored as a laureate and as a guest scientist at the chair of the theory, History of Architecture and Art and Design arm of the university's Department of Architecture. The program is established in collaboration with the Bavarian Ministry of Education. In parallel to founding AD Consulting, Adenawa was founded and ran Advantage Energy, an oil and gas service services firm. She's an associate member of the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators and a member of the African Leadership Network. As a public speaker, Adinowa was as lectured on the arts, architecture, gender issues, women's empowerment, and entrepreneurial activities in Africa. She has spoken at the Global Women's Forum and Harvard Business School. She also syndicated radio show on leadership Voice of Change. She has been featured by the international media such as CNN and Fortune. She has several philanthropic ventures. In 1999, she founded the Alson Treasures Foundation, a UN-recognized faith-based NGO in Lagos, Nigeria. The foundation has a mission to raise 1,000 leaders by, by 2030, working especially women and young women. The majority of our foundation's programming focuses on disadvantaged women and children. ATF runs Camp Down, an educational camp, to address the education gap for inner city kids. It also manages awesome princesses caring for young girls from the slum of Lagos who are at risk of sexual abuse and HIV and AIDS 
supplying medical screening and educational intervention. Awesome Treasures closely maintains women for transnational leadership and entrepreneurship through vocational training, business classes and leadership training that takes place across Nigeria. In its first 15 years, 17,000 people have attended ATF Leadership Summit. So far so good, I am sure you must have enjoyed the show so as I have enjoyed it. I remain your host, Yomi. See you next time on another exciting episode. Bye for now.